Hello guys, I'm Raida Boost and in this brief video I explain how to install and how to start using EN Plastic Pipes Catalog for Civil 3D Pipe Network. Installation is quite easy, you have to accept the license agreement, you hit next, you select the location into where you want to add those catalogs, it can be any location, I'm using currently Civil 3D 2024, that's the location into where I'm currently installing. Once you click Next, you get a slight warning that this folder already exists, but it, it doesn't override anything as long as you don't have exactly same subfolders. But I believe that you are not having those. So you just hit Yes. Now you can select which subcomponents you want to install. I do recommend full installation. But in any case, you have an option custom installation in where you have plastic pipes and also plastic pipes with additional properties which are coming from some example manufacturer. Now, full installation, then hit next, install. It should be quite quick. You finish it. And now let's go and see the location into where we installed those folders or catalogs. I select my Civil 3D 2024 or any location into where I installed those folders, catalogs, pipes catalog, and I can see from here three additional folders. EN Plastic Pipes Generic, Pipe Life, and also Support Files. Now pay attention to, to be able to use those pipes, any of those, Generic or Pipe Life. You have to override one Civil 3D default file. You can find this file from EN Support Files folder, Shared Content. You just Ctrl C, you copy it, and now you go back to Civil 3D 2024. You then select Pipes Catalog again. From here, Shared Content. You can find the same file from here. Please do make a safe copy before you override it, because for me it's a default file. Uh, I can do safely the overwrite. So I just hit Ctrl V, replace and continue. And do remember that uh, you have to overwrite this file while Civil 3D is closed. Yeah, Civil 3D should be closed. You don't have to make a restart, uh, Civil 3D have to be closed. Now, once those steps are finished, you can now start Civil 3D and you can test those new pipes catalogs. Let's do that. I have opened Civil 3D 2024 and uh, I do have a really simple drawing, just a rectangular surface onto where I want to place my pipe network. The workflow, how you can use those additional catalogs, pipe catalogs, is the same for any other pipe catalog that you have been using with Civil 3D. So first you need to create design and select your network catalog, set pipe network catalog. You select pipe catalog, which you want to use. Is it uh, generic or pipe life, manufacturer based? And then you can use any of your own structure catalog. So no additional structures are included, just pipes. E and plastic pipes, generic for me, and metric structure catalog. I hit OK. Now I go to settings, select pipe network, parts lists, create parts list, and now I just want to rename it, maybe EN pipes, then pipes, right click, add part family. I can see now the substructure of this catalog. I can just select any of those in this example. All those pipes are based on EN standards or EN ISO standards. I hit OK and then I add sizes, add part size, select all if you want to, OK, and then structures. I include add part family in here as well. I just pick any structure I like to have cylindrical for example, hit OK, and also in here I add part sizes, OK, 
and now I'm done in this definition. I hit OK and uh, I can now start drawing my new pipe network. So if I select pipe network, I select pipe network creation tools. Now I give a name, let's say pipe network one. I select my network parts list, E and pipes. I select surface name, which I have surface one. And then I select OK. Now I'm ready to draw my pipes. First, uh, I select my structure and then which tire mat uh, I want to use from this particular folder. So please remember that depending on standards, you can see different selections of tire matters. But all pipes are plastic. Yes, this is plastic pipe network catalog. I select, for example, 400. And now I just uh, draw a simple pipeline. And once I have finished, I can obviously change my look and feel, how I want to see it uh, in plan view. For example, if I select my pipe, right click and edit pipe style, I can go to display and ensure that, for example, I want to see center line, also inside and outside. I hit apply, I hit OK. And if I now zoom in, this is one key feature of those catalogs that uh, pipes are defined with correct inside-outside tire matters and also typical tire matter class is added. For example, is it uh, DN400 or DN315? So it's up to you if you want to show it, but also you can see all those parameters. For example, if I select this pipe, I right-click and now I select pipe properties. I go to part properties tab and if I scroll down I can see part data with extended version of data from this catalog. For example from which standard it comes to. Also wall thickness for example inside and outside pipe diameters and any additional properties that this specific standard specifies. So hopefully this additional information can be pulled into your property sets and you can draw more standardized drawings through those additional catalogs. With that, thank you for watching and happy testing!